Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's me, the Gaming Fox. Welcome back to another WWE Royal Rumble. And <laughs> I know I'm doing it again. I'm doing another Marvel Royal Rumble, which is weird because I I did like three last video, uh, not last video, last season with um, Spider Man, X Men, and then the Marvel Strike Force Royal Rumble. And now I got another <laughs> Marvel Royal Rumble for this season. I was really debating on doing this, this Royal Rumble, for, to be honest, for the season, since I, but I've done two DC Royal Rumbles in this season, so I thought like it would be fair to do Marvel, and not like, use, I did not use, I tried to keep it to like, characters I haven't used a lot, so there's characters in here that have had maybe one appearance, no appearances at all, and there's some that have, there's like, I think maybe one that's had more than one or two appearances on the channel. So I kept it kind of like low. Like for example, we got Killmonger coming at number one. He's never made an appearance on the channel. So he's making his very first appearance on the channel in this video. So I, I kept it to kind of like how did DC where I didn't use a lot of the characters I've used before. But this in this video, I, I used some popular characters and popular, some characters that I think are, that I like at least. So, like, there's some non-popular, some popular, I guess, some better known, I guess, I should say. And he's coming at number two. And it's Thor. So, Thor has only made one appearance on the channel, which is surprising, because he's, like, he's Thor. Like, and out of the many Marvel or Rumbles I've done, he's only had one appearance. And that was in, I think, the very first... It was either in the Superheroes Royal Rumble or the very first Marvel Royal Rumble. I can't remember, though. No, his, his very first, I think, was in the, the Superhero Royal Rumble that I did in Season 1. And Killmonger is choking out Thor. But Thor is not taking any of it. And this is by flying into Killmonger right away. Man. Killmonger tried to choke out Thor, but then Thor turned it around, and now he's got the advantage. Now we got Ant-Man coming in. Ant-Man's only... you will be surprised. Ant-Man has only had one appearance on the channel. This would be his second appearance, but his first appearance was in the very first Marvel Royal Rumble back in Season 1. So he hasn't been on the channel since Season 1, along with Thor. But no, no, Ant-Man did... Ant-Man was also... I'm pretty sure Ant-Man was in my Marvel Strike Force video. I can't remember. I'm pretty sure he was. So Ant-Man might have had two appearances, but I'm pretty sure he's only had one. I have to double check. Now we got Anti-Venom. This is Anti-Venom's first appearance on the channel. We've done Venom. We've done Carnage. Now it's time for Anti-Venom to make his appearance on the channel. Because, like, Anti-Venom's one of the, I guess, better known. Um... Well, other symbiotes, because like, there's different symbiotes. Like, Carnage has kids and everything. Venom has a kid, has a kid, which is Carnage, and there's Scream, there's Lasher, there's Anti-Venom, there's Toxin. There's a lot of other symbiotes, and I feel like Anti-Venom is one of the better known ones. And then we got Moon Knight, who I do know, in fact. His very first appearance was in the Superheroes Royal Rumble in Season 1, which is the third video ever, I'm pretty sure. He has not had an appearance since. So Moon Knight has had a big drought without an appearance. So I decided to put Moon Knight in here. So I do like Moon Knight. Moon Knight's one of my, my favorite Marvel superheroes. He's, in, he's at least in the top 10. Not top 3 though. For me personally. I'm pretty sure I've told you guys my top 3. Which are Spider-Man, Nightcrawler, and then Black Panther. <laughs> we got Stan Lee. I so I went back and looked at all the videos, Marvel videos that I've done, and saw that I've never put Stan Lee in a video. Stan Lee, the creator of Marvel, has never been in a Marvel Royal Rumble, so I decided to put Stan Lee in this video because he is the creator of Marvel. We do not have Marvel. We do not have Spider Man, Fantastic Four, uh, the X Men. Like, all your favorite Marvel superheroes we would not have without Stan Lee, to be honest. 
Then we got Star Lord, who has also never been in the Premium Slam channel, surprisingly. I mean, he's not my he's not my favorite guardian. I do like him, but he's his like my favorite guardian at Guardian of the Galaxy is Drax. But Star Lord has not made an appearance on the channel, which is surprising to be honest. But he's making his first appearance now, and this is Galaxy Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Three. Star Lord, too. All right, we got one more. We got another contestant coming in. Not one more contestant. We got a lot of contestants, but we got Hawkeye, who also has never made an appearance on the channel, which is kind of fair because, like, compared to like, all the superheroes in Marvel and like, all the villains, Hawkeye, you wouldn't think of Hawkeye right away when you say, "Tell me a Marvel superhero." Like when you say that, you'd think of like, of like, um. Spider-Man, Iron Man, Captain America, uh, Thor. Hawkeye wouldn't come to mind. So I decided to put Hawkeye in here. Because he doesn't get enough love, I think. For like, I mean, yeah, he's not the best. Well, he's not the best superhero. And uh, yes, I did see that Killmonger got eliminated. I didn't say anything yet. I was talking about Hawkeye. But Killmonger got eliminated. I don't know by who. Because I can't. I always do this. I look up. Like look down when I'm like recording these videos and I don't see what happened. Like, I'll be looking up at like, like like I have my monitor and I look up to like I don't know, like look at something like I it's more like I'm spacing out when it's not like looking up or when I I look up I have space out when I'm talking and not look at the screen, not focus on the screen. So I miss what's happening sometimes. So I do not see Killmonger eliminated eliminated. But we have another contestant put in, and it's going to be Nova. Uh, Nova, I mean, he's a decent character. Like the most, the most I've seen Nova has been from the Ultimate Spider-Man, and he was kind of annoying in that, to be honest. I thought I just saw Hawkeye get eliminated, but no, it's just Thor throwing him over to and like sending him down to the down to the uh, floor of the ring. I, just, I haven't seen the whole like a good Nova yet, and like you know, anything I've watched to be honest, like Nova I've seen like in like Ultimate Spider-Man was kind of annoying. And it, he was decent, but at the same time, I just didn't really like him that much. I also feel like they had a lot of characters in that show, so it's kind of hard to get to know some characters. And I feel like yeah, we did focus on Nova and Spider-Man's team like the first season but I don't know but we do have um what was I going to say I was going to say we're, we had we don't have any villains in right now because Killmonger was in but he got eliminated and anti venom is considered an anti-hero not really a villain not really a hero and the rest are all heroes to be honest with Nova Thor Stanley, Ant-Man, Moon Knight, Hawkeye, Star-Lord. Like, the entire... I, I did put more heroes into this one than villains, but I did put a decent amount of villains in here. Just to be fair. Alright. Stanley's going after Thor. Nova's going after Hawkeye. And there goes Hawkeye eliminated, eliminated by Nova. I did not miss that one. I did see that. And Moon Knight is in. He got lucky there. Um, Anti Venom kind of stuttered on going over there to try to eliminate him there, to be honest. But Hawkeye's gone. He was going by Nova. Moon Knight almost got eliminated, but he stayed safe. We got Stanley going after Moon Knight now. And Nova going after. Um, anti venom. We're gonna try to limit Stanley over there. And I don't think he's no, yeah, no. Stanley's in here. Like, he was he was out there for a while, but maybe, but no. Alright. 
And Emmett, Emmett looks kind of small to be honest. Now we got Winter Soldier coming in. So Winter Soldier will be replacing Hawkeye. And that Winter Soldier looks really good to be honest. That's a really good Winter Soldier right there to be honest. And there goes Stan Lee, eliminated by Star Lord. Star Lord eliminates Stan Lee. And now he gets attacked by Nova. I do kind of like how it's Thor versus Anti Venom right now because I guess they're the two biggest characters in the ring. So they're going after each other, and I kind of like that. Oh, and the Winter Soldier's gone already. He got eliminated by Ant Man. Oh, Ant Man tried for the double kill that are trying to eliminate. Uh, Moon Knight Raptor eliminated, um, Winter Soldier, but then Ant-Man gets eliminated by Moon Knight. Dang, we lost three contestants, like, back to back to back. And a fourth! anti venom is gone. The ring is being cleared. So we lost Stanley, then we lost Winter Soldier, then Ant-Man, and then anti venom Is it going to be a fifth? Nah, it's not that quick. Now we got Luke Cage coming in. I mean, Luke Cage isn't, like, the most complex character, I guess, for Marvel, but he's built for... I feel like he's built for this, with his, like, impenetrable skin. You may also know him as Power Man, but I don't like that. I don't like that name. I prefer him as Luke Cage, not Power Man. Like, his... Basically, his power gives him, like, indestructible skin, so he can take, like, all the damage and everything. We got the thing. Wow, back to back with Luke Cage and the thing. Two big, big people coming in right now. That thing does not look that bad, to be honest. I do like that thing. Looks pretty good, to be honest. And the thing, thing went after Luke Cage, and I was getting attacked by Nova. Felt like to grab Luke Cage, and Luke Cage is like, nah, you're not grabbing me. Now we got Ghost Rider, who is honestly another one of my favorite Marvel superheroes. I really do like Ghost Rider. I just felt like I had to put him in here because I did the Ghost Rider versus Lobo 1v1, and Ghost Rider lost. So I feel like I gotta give Ghost Rider a chance at redemption here and a Royal Rumble to get into the winner's circle, but. There's no guarantees in Royal Rumbles, to be honest. I've seen that. There's no guarantees. You gotta play smart. And, like, you gotta play smart and you have to be durable. And you gotta be careful on who you choose to fight with, to be honest. But if you choose the wrong person, you can be eliminated really fast. And then that Drax the Destroyer, who I was also talking about earlier in the video, as being one of my favorite Guardians of the Galaxy characters. And he's going right for Thing. He's going for what he thinks is probably the biggest competition in the ring. And I'm trying to go after him. Thor is bear hugging Moon Knight over there. And just like that, the ring is full again. All with Marvel heroes, too. Moon Knight tried to eliminate Thor. But Thor reverses his attack. Drax is going after Star Lord right now. Ooh, Luke Cage, I think, kind of rushed it there. I think if he had waited for Thor to go down, he would have gotten him, maybe. And Star Lord stays in. Okay, okay, Nova, I see you. He's got like his piece. He has turned around and um, Moon Knight came to attack him. And the next thing I know, Nova is eliminated, but and so is Thor. But Nova was doing a move on Moon Knight to stun him. And then we lost Nova to Thor, and Thor got eliminated by Luke Cage. And now Luke Cage is trying to eliminate the thing. But the thing stays in. Right 
I think that they switched. They switched. The thing went to Star Lord. He did not. He did not want to fight Luke Cage there. Then he's going after Ghost Rider. Moon Knight's taking on Drax somehow. Like I would, I would think Drax would put up more of a fight against Moon Knight, but Moon Knight's kind of kicking Drax's butt right now, to be honest. See, so yeah, you just gotta be careful in the ring. You gotta keep up, keep tabs on everybody. Someone just grab you from behind and hurt you like really bad. All right, he's coming in now. It's the Spider-Man big time. So this is the character I was talking about. It's like Spider-Man's been in so many videos. But I wanted to I wanted to include a Spider-Man. So I included Spider-Man big time. And I think he's only had... Yeah, I know he's had at least one. Well, two. Because he was in the... No, he's had one. But I don't think he was in... He was in 30, man. Ghost Rider got eliminated. My guess was by Luke Cage. I wasn't looking at the screen. Like I wasn't, I wasn't looking at Ghost Rider to be honest. So I was, I was like comfortable with like because Ghost Rider just came in too, not not that long ago. And then we got Bullseye, who is, would be the third villain to be in the Royal Rumble. I mean, it's fair because like earlier in the video, in, not the video in the in the season, we did the um, Spider Man's Rogue Gallery, so it was like all villains to be honest. So we did see a lot of different Marvel villains. But there are mostly Spider-Man villains, so that's kind of the thing. But we did, and we also did have a villain for our Rumble this season, so like I didn't feel the need to put a lot of Marvel villains in here. And we had a lot of, we had more villains than heroes this season, to be honest. All right, who's coming now? The Red Hulk. As Red Hulk will be be introduced into the MCU in the um, new Captain America movie. I think it's Captain America and the Winter Soldier, A Brave New World, or something like that. Or it's just Captain America, A Brave New World, something like that. But Harrison Ford will be playing as Red Hulk, which I think, I hope he does good, but I don't, we don't know what happen, what's going to happen. And Drax eliminated somewhere. I didn't see who he, he, he eliminated. And Star-Lord... And that's why he eliminates someone, but I couldn't tell who it was. And Spider-Man Big Time tried to eliminate, like, well, went over and someone who's going to eliminate. Um, Luke Cage just eliminated the thing. Dang, Luke Cage is just being like a, kind of a menace, to be honest. He eliminated Thor, Star-Lord. No, no, that was Drax. Drax eliminated Star-Lord. But Luke Cage has eliminated Thor and the thing. I'm pretty sure he also eliminated someone else, but I can't remember who. Will Luke Cage be our menace for the season, to be honest? Because every season we have a menace. Season one, it was, um... Season one, it was Goofy. Season two, it was Into the Pit, Spring Bonnie. Will it be Luke Cage or will he get eliminated here? No. Moon Knight doesn't go after him. He changed his target to Spider-Man big time. And then we got Mr. Fantastic, the second Fantastic Four member, too, making an appearance. Um, in the video, with the thing being the first. And honestly, I do like that Mr. Fantastic, but the one thing that drives me crazy was in the Multiverse of Madness, how Reed Richards is introduced as the smartest man in the world, and he dies so simply to Scarlet Witch, it was so dumb. Like, you say he, he's supposed to be smarter than Iron Man, and he dies fast in, like, his first day, in his debut. And I've got Shang-Chi, who, I have not seen Shang-Chi yet, but I have liked Shang-Chi since, like, because I used to play Marvel Future Fight, and I got Shang-Chi. Like, dude, I like this dude so much, because he just had nunchucks, and I was, like, a kid, too, so I, like, got so interested in it. So, Shang-Chi became, like, one of my favorite, um... Uh, future fight characters to use to be honest so, you know he wasn't that good like against like actual people like in pvp stuff <laughs> and that 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 mr fantastic does look really good to be honest i do like that mr fantastic but wow, he's already he's eliminated dang and Bullseye's trying to eliminate Red Hulk. 
And then we got Iron Fist, who was another character from the Defender series, like the like the all the MCU like TV shows, like Iron Fist, Luke Cage, Jessica Jones, Punisher. He was like in that group of like Daredevil and everything. He was also a big part of the uh, Ultimate Spider-Man show too. But his role did kind of get decreased. And Shang Chi got eliminated. I didn't see him get eliminated. I was looking at Iron Fist because Iron Fist just came in. But we have our final six already. Spider-Man Big Time, Red Hulk, Bullseye, Iron Fist, Drax the Destroyer, and Luke Cage. Not a whole lot of characters that you normally see in this Marvel world, to be honest. If you see like Iron Man, Captain America, yeah, Spider-Man, but Thanos and everything. But this, this is different. This is why I did it. I tried to incorporate some characters I haven't used before. Some characters I like, put... Marvel's got so many characters, so I just DC, so I wanted to get some respect for those characters, to be honest. So I figured I would do the same thing for my next Marvel Royal Rumble, where it's just a lot of different characters like that I haven't used yet, probably. I maybe include, like, War Machine, Iron Man, probably, in that one. But who knows. And there goes Iron Fist. Let me, like... Spider-Man big time. And Luke Cage trying to me um Bullseye, but Bullseye stays in. And the Hulk is on the ground right now too. We have our final five. Luke Cage, Red Hulk, Bullseye, Drax, and Spider-Man. Bullseye is trying to take on the big guys too right now. And he's getting bear hugged by the Red Hulk. Yes, yeah, that Drax and Luke Cage fight. Let the, let the big guys fight. Drax just speared Luke Cage there. And then he's going right to Spider Man, but Spider Man's like not taking that. Bullseye finally breaking out of Red Hulk's bear hug. And Bullseye is trying to eliminate um, Luke Cage twice and just has not been able to because Luke Cage keeps reversing him. And there goes Red Hulk, eliminated by Luke Cage. Luke Cage picks up his third elimination of the video. Maybe even fourth, I'm not sure. There's his fourth, or maybe fifth, as he eliminates Bullseye. Luke Cage is definitely the menace for this this season right here. Luke Cage is definitely our definitely our menace for this season to be honest. So our final three is Drax, Spider-Man, and Luke Cage. Huh. That's an inter interesting final three, to be honest. But honestly, I kind of saw it coming. Man. Luke Cage is throwing Drax around like he's a puppet. Drax got a finisher and sort of Luke Cage, so Spider Man has got to be a little bit careful, to be honest. But he's close to being a finisher as well. I'm not, I'm not really rooting for anyone right now. I'm just saying that he's got to be a little bit careful because like he can easily be eliminated here. And Drax comes back in. Drax is not eliminated yet. I say yep, yeah, but we don't know if he will be or not. Because Drax has a good good chance, good as a chance of, of anybody to win. And Spider-Man just saved Drax there. Spider-Man had just let Luke Cage eliminate Drax. Spider-Man could have 
tried to eliminate Luke Cage there. But I'm that's just a, theor a theoretical like possibility. But who knows what? Who, we just gotta wait and see what happens. Drax is putting up a good fight on um, Luke Cage. Now he's going right after Spider Man now. Spider Man reverses his um. Uh, Drax's attack. Spider-Man's using his spider spider sense right now. You can tell he's been able to reverse Drax a lot today. I thought Drax would have got that, to be honest, but it doesn't matter. Luke Cage got it. Luke Cage fighting smart, using smart moves to deal a uh, deal a lot of damage to his opponents right now. Spider-Man, another reverse. Uh, I, I don't think that was the best decision there, the double team there, but it's whatever. Do what you want. Like I like I said before, the, the AI in this game is, is dumb sometimes. Like, there, I would have wanted to the rope, put... Drax on the ropes and eliminate him. But who knows? I think there goes big time. Yep, there goes Spider Man big time. And our final two is Drax versus Luke Cage. I feel like I feel like the AI for Spider Man could have played that a little bit better, a little bit smarter. But it's whatever. I think oh no, I thought Luke Cage was gonna be able to get there him there, but no. Drax is gonna put up a fight. Drax is gonna fight for to the very last minute, to be honest. Oh, impressive counter. I don't know who's gonna win, Drax or um, Luke Cage. I mean, Luke Cage has been in for a while. Drax has been in the least, so I would think that would give him an advantage. But I'm not sure. You never give someone an advantage based off of whether they come in at sometimes. Especially because in the season, two characters are coming at number one and won the Royal Rumble. That being Green Goblin and Sonic at EXE. So, like, I, you can't guess who will win. But there it is. Luke Cage is your winner for the Marvel Royal Rumble number two. No, it's only number two because the others were Spider Man. Marvel Strike Force and then X Men. So this is the second Marvel, like strictly Marvel, Royal Rumble. But I do hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.